again, people at Chatswood. We've come to see you again today. Mike with the mic and the team are here to pray, to pray and get your heart right with Jesus. Very important. So this is about you and your relationship with your creator, your relationship with the God who made the heavens and the earth and everything under the earth, including you and me, wants a relationship with you because we all originally were made in the image of God. We're already made to have a relationship with him, but there was a problem, a problem called disobedience. When man disobeyed God in the garden, he had broke the relationship between God and man, and every person born after that was born under that broken relationship. All until the Lord Jesus Christ came to this earth, took on humanity, took the iniquity of us all upon himself, died on the cross, went to the grave. In three days he rose again. He said he would do it. He said, nobody takes my life from me. He did it deliberately. He said, I lay it down and I take it up. So this is the thing, people. We have a very wonderful, merciful God who is available. And he's available to every person. If you have breath in your lungs, if you have a heartbeat today, then you are eligible to have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ who will take you all the way into the most holy place by his shed blood. There's no other way in. You cannot go there without him. He's here for you today. He loves you. He cares for you. We care for you. We're not out here for any other reason than to get you safe in the hand of God. So that if something happens to you and you pass from this earth, you will have a passport to heaven. Without Jesus Christ in your heart, as your advocate, as your saviour, you cannot enter heaven. Very serious people, it's about you, cannot enter heaven. Come and pray, get your heart right with him. Today it's about inviting every person to partake of this free gift, the gift of salvation. If we could do it ourselves, Jesus Christ would not have needed to have come to this earth. If we could all do it ourselves by our good works, I wouldn't need to be out here preaching the gospel, praying with you, inviting you in. None of that would be necessary. All you guys would be jumping around saying, we're all safe, we're all going to heaven. It's not like that. You have to do something. You have a free will. And you can accept or you can reject what the Lord Jesus has done. And many, many, many people reject. Every time we come out, there are literally thousands of people walking by, not interested. Nothing we can do about that. This is for those who sense their need for God. They know there's something missing. They know there's a piece of the puzzle that only Jesus Christ can fill. And they sense a deep conviction in their heart they feel they have a need to know their creator. They feel they have a need to know where they're going to spend eternity. They're the people we're out here for. They're the people we want to talk to and pray with and get your heart right. But it is not automatic. I've said it a moment ago. It is something you have to do. It is a free will act. Jesus does not want robots. He does not want slaves. He wants people who make the decision to want him as saviour, who understand that they are sinners.